Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me to open the ISS Symposium, which starts today in Berlin. A lot of scientists have gathered, more than 300, and uh, they are reporting about the achievements that we have done in the last years on board the International Space Station, which is now in orbit for more than 10 years, and the European Columbus module, which is now more than four years in orbit. A lot of experiments have been conducted actually on board of Columbus, more than 100. And um, this is the opportunity in the next three days to report about the results of the scientific uh, work that has been done on orbit, not only amongst the scientists, but especially to inform public what ISS is for and how it can support humans here on Earth. Today is the first uh, day of the symposium of the uh, utilization of ISS for benefits of humankind. That's very interesting uh, for which uh, will enable us to examine what we have done on ISS and most importantly what we can do on ISS in the future. The exploration is a, one of the aspects of utilization of the ISS today, a very important one. And uh, by the way, the main idea of the human being to explore was the curiosity. It was a very right word. It's not only basic science, only, only afterwards the basic science, science emerged as a, as a good uh, spin-off from the space flight. We have a, a very robust program plan right now. For the first time in NASA's history, uh, we actually have two parallel programs. One is to continue as we have historically to develop a government-owned and operated spacecraft, our multi-purpose crew vehicle and our Orion crew vehicle. Uh, but we also have in parallel a program to uh, buy commercial flights from U.S. suppliers that will own and operate their own commercial space transportation systems. Well, I had to recall a quotation from uh, uh, a U.S. astronaut, Bill Reedy, who was a prior associate administrator for our Office of Space Flight, uh, when he made it quite clear, our kids want to grow up to be astronauts, not robots. We, we are famous for our robots, but we also have astronauts, and there's a very healthy competition going on. <laughs> but I would say that uh, one goes with the other. You need the robotics uh, and more and more countries. We are still learning a lot in space, but what we're seeing recently is that we have managed to produce spin-offs, uh, benefits, applications of these technologies on Earth, and it's technology that saves lives. There are several Japanese astronauts such as Mr. Wakata, Mr. Hoshide, and Mr. Furukawa. Uh, they are very famous in Japan. Um, uh, and the Japanese people are very enthusiastic about what, uh, what they do in the ISS. So um, this is very good educational opportunity for Japanese young generations. Yeah, AMS is a large scientific instrument which was brought in May last year to the International Space Station with the last flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. And since May last year, it's uh, collecting cosmic rays. Um, we have recorded 13 billion cosmic ray events in the last year. AMS is located on the port side of the main trust, and it's large enough that you can see it on most of the photographs from the ISS. We are discovering now very high energetic antiparticles, positrons and cosmic rays at energies um, where nobody else has discovered antiparticles before. So we are seeing that we are getting the science out of AMS that uh, we were always looking for. The space station is a unique laboratory and a unique platform. There is no uh, such laboratory or such platform anywhere else. And, uh, and the point is that this is a common platform where the, the agencies are cooperating, but uh, which is open to, uh, to all scientists. And what I hope is that the scientists will compete to use the space station. So uh, uh, what I am expecting is a, a very strong competition. In well, I think that the, the most important uh, feature of today is the fact that uh, the, the, the five partners are together to share their uh, experience and to develop common plans. And I think that the, this is certainly the most important uh, feature of, uh, of today. It's uh, we, are, we have worked together and we plan the future together.